Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is five tips that I feel like new moms should know. And I am not a professional. I just wanted to let new moms know that they're not alone. So if you are a new mom or you are a friend of a new mom, maybe you can listen too to see if you can help out. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. <clears throat> Um, the first thing I would like new moms to know or that they should know is it's okay to feel like you're alone. Um, you need to reach out to someone if you do feel alone because in all reality you're not alone, you just have this feeling that you are. So my inbox is always open. Um, all my social media links will be in the description below so if you ever need somebody to talk to or feel like you're alone please don't hesitate to reach out to me um, I've been in that spot before where I felt like I didn't have other people to talk to and it's not a good place so please don't feel alone write somebody that you trust call somebody because like I said you're not alone number two is depression is a real thing. Um, after I had my last son, I was really, 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 really depressed. I knew that I wasn't having any more kids after him, so I got really sad. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't talk to anybody. I literally spent like four months in my head, like really sad about everything. And finally, like, I started talking to uh, his dad and, like, telling him, like, I'm really sad, I don't know what to do, blah, 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 and we worked through it. So, please, if you're feeling depressed, again, reach out to somebody. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to have those baby blues. It's okay to feel like you're not doing a great job the first time around. I promise that you're still not alone, okay? Reach out, talk to anybody, your mom, your dad, uh, your boyfriend, your husband, a friend, if anything, me. Like I said again, my social medias are all inside the description box. Please reach out. Another one, so this will be number three, breastfeeding is like pushed on a lot of moms. But I promise you that if you don't breastfeed, you're not a terrible mom. You can breastfeed for a day, a week, a year, three years. It doesn't matter. You can breastfeed none and it's not gonna matter. I promise you, you're not a bad mom if you have to give your baby formula. Um, for a long time I was looked down on when I had my first son um, about breastfeeding him because he was a boy. Um, I stopped breastfeeding him a month in and I gave him formula. Then I was looked bad on about giving him formula. So it's like a lose-lose situation and you just have to pick your battles. And honestly, that one's not one to fight with. Your baby's being fed either way. Who cares how he's eating or she? It doesn't matter. So don't let anybody tell you, oh, breast is best, you need to give him breast. No, it's not true. If you cannot or you don't want to, you don't have to. Don't listen to those people. They're they don't know what they're talking about. If you feel safe with co-sleeping, co-bathing, co-anything, do it. It's your baby, okay? Just do it safely. I co-slept with Elliot for a year. Uh, he just barely started sleeping in his own crib again. So, and he doesn't sleep in it all night. We just stopped breastfeeding but he doesn't sleep in his crib all night yet. It is what it is, all right? I co-slept with almost all my kids, um, except the first one. He didn't like to co-sleep, he wanted to sleep in his bed. Cool. So don't let somebody tell you, oh, you're gonna do this to your baby if you co-sleep. If you wanna co-sleep and you think you're doing a great job at it, co-sleep. And another one is it is 100% okay to put housework aside and take a minute for yourself while your baby is napping or just sitting in 
a playpen quietly or sitting in his swing or her swing quietly. It's okay to sit there and regroup yourself. You don't have to sit there and go, I need to get the dishes done right now. He's quiet, I need to go get them done. Don't think. If you, if you need a minute for yourself, take that minute for yourself. House chores will get done. Your sanity, if you lose it, who's gonna be there for your baby? Just remember, new moms, even older moms, even moms of multiples, you're not alone, okay? Every mom goes through so many different things. No mom goes through the same exact thing. Just remember, if you need somebody, reach out to someone, please. I have had friends that sit on social media and write statuses about how sad they are and the minute I reach out to them, they thank me for reaching out to them because that's what they wanted. They wanted somebody to reach out. So if you are a new mom or a friend of a new mom and you're seeing like sad statuses or you're not seeing them as much as you used to, maybe send them a quick text, a, a quick uh, messenger message. Hey, how are you and the baby doing? Hey, how is your new family? Hey, I haven't seen you post in a while. Are you doing okay? Anything, anything besides being judgmental will be great for a new mom. So just remember, you're not alone and I am here if anybody needs someone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, all my links are in the description box. Bye guys. Today's shout out is going to go to Nikki B and family. Don't forget to check out her channel. Her link will be in the description below. Thank you guys and I hope you all have an amazing Monday.